In today's Adobe Illustrator graphic design tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create this really cool logo using the make mesh function in Adobe Illustrator. I'm not only going to show you how to make one logo, but you're actually going to learn how to make two different logos using the same function in Adobe Illustrator. What is up people, welcome back to Satori Graphics the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. So today we're going to be making some waves and warping some lines using the make mesh function. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make these two logos using this function in Illustrator. So follow along and make some neat logo designs today. To kick things off today in this make mesh logo design tutorial, we need to make a set of lines. So press P to grab the pen tool and then click once on the artboard. Hold down shift and drag a second anchor point along to the right. Holding down shift is going to enable you to keep the line perfectly level. Press V to select up off the pen tool path and then increase the stroke weight. We will now make a duplicate by holding down the alt option key and clicking and dragging. With the new line still selected, press Command or Control D to repeat the process over and over again. If your lines seem too close together, you can drag the last line down a touch and then select every single line. If you then use this option in the Align window, you will put everything at equal distances using the top and the bottom line as a length. Also, use this option here to align the lines perfectly vertically. You can experiment with different thicknesses of your lines for your logo design. Some designs will look great with thin lines and other logos will look better with thicker lines. Now select all of the lines and outline the stroke like so. When we're going to start to use the make mesh function in Illustrator. You can locate it here. Again, experiment with different settings, but 3x3 is a good place to start. You will notice that the selection is now split up into a grid depending on the numbers you just typed in. So this is going to be the fun part. Press A for the direct selection tool and click and drag the points on the grid. Spend some time to experiment with what kinds of manipulations you can make with the make mesh function. Like I said, it might take a few attempts of this logo design tutorial to get your line thicknesses correct, depending on your style of logo. You essentially want to warp and twist the lines to create a funky and cool design with the make mesh function. So once you're happy with the design, drag it off to the side and then press M for the rectangle tool. We're going to make a background for our logo design today. So draw a rectangle across the entire artboard like so. Then send it to the back and lock it down in place. For my logo, I just picked two letters to make up initials. I quite like the simplicity of a logo design made up of initials. So press T for the type tool and then type out some letters. The font that you choose is obviously going to be crucial for how your logo design ends up appearing. And for my logo in today's tutorial, I've chosen quite a sleek and sophisticated font. And if you want to look for it online, here is the ID. If you press Command or Control T, you can actually open up this window here, which will allow you to edit the kerning and other aspects of your type. Once ready, you will need to create the outlines of the type and then create a compound path.
If the logo type becomes invisible, no worries. Simply add a color to it again so you can see it easily. Drag the logo type over to your make mesh line design and resize it until you're happy with the composition. Select all aspects of your design and then right or control click and choose clipping mask. If you don't like the composition, press command or control Z and try it again. With the design like it is now, you're not going to be able to add colors or gradients. So go up to object and expand. Once you've expanded it, go over to the Pathfinder window and crop the design. Now you will be able to add color and gradients. Like I said earlier, you might want to experiment with different line thicknesses, performing this logo design process multiple different times until you're happy with your design. I feel like a very vibrant gradient works best for this kind of design. So next I'm going to show you how to make the second logo in today's Illustrator logo design tutorial. On this design however, lastly choose the gradient tool and draw a line over the entire design to add the gradient evenly across the logo. Also add some typography to finish the logo off. I used the same font for this logo type as I did for the logo mark itself. So for the next logo I've made a square design using the make mesh function and I've already outlined the text of the A and the B. For the effect on this logo you're going to want to open up the transparency window which you can either do here on the side or you can locate it under the window section at the top. In the transparency window you can play around with the blend mode settings seeing what works best for your design. Overlay is always quite a good choice I find. If you press I on your keyboard you can access the eyedropper tool and you can then sample the color from the background onto the logo itself. When you now apply different blend modes, the outcome will be slightly different. And that is how you design two different logos in Illustrator using the make mesh function. Have fun experimenting with this process and see what kind of logo designs you can come up with in Adobe Illustrator. So there was my video on how to make two different logo designs using the make mesh function in Adobe Illustrator. Let me know what you guys thought of today's video in the comment section below. I always love hearing from you guys and your opinions on this channel and my content. If you really do like my content, drop a like and maybe share it on social media so other people can see it too. I of course am going to be back tomorrow with another graphic design video for you guys here at Satori Graphics. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all my graphic design content here on this channel. And until next time, design your future today. Peace. Go ahead and support Satori Graphics via Teespring by buying a t-shirt or a print showing your appreciation of what I do here for you guys.